Um, he wanted to smash. No, no, he's just. Cocky, cocky. Big elephant vision. Go white girl. How, wait, how do you say the intro? <laughs> wait, are you supposed to be doing that? And action. Hi, I'm Sarah Jo, and I'm on Big Elephant Vision. Stand on it. <laughs> do you actually play this? Elephant vision. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, my name is, my whole name is Sarah Jo Wilburn, uh, but I was named after my great grandmother and her name was Sarah Josephine. So my parents shortened it to Joe. Okay, so that's tight. <laughs> what you do, like, what's your profession? What is your main thing? Like, what is your profession? What are you good at? What's your talent? Uh, uh, runway, runway fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also do some acting. I went to school for uh, modeling and I also went to school for on screen acting. How was that? What was that experience like? It's different. I think uh, there's a lot more to learn than people think. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things that you can actually do wrong on the runway, um, like swinging your arms too much or moving your hips too much down the runway mm -hmm. or not striding your legs long enough and not you're not really supposed to smile when you're on the runway unless it's commercial. Um, with acting, you can actually you actually have to look. So if you, like if the camera's right there and the person's talking to you, you're actually supposed to look the closest to the eye of the camera, but not look like directly towards the camera. Like you're supposed to like say it again. So like say the camera's right there, I need to look in that like when I'm looking at you, I can't look at both your eyes. I have to look at that one eye. That way the camera's still getting my eyes, but never. So am I the you talking about as me as the actor? Yeah, like if you're like a co-star and we're acting in a movie, mm -hmm. I would have to look in that eye closest to the camera. When I'm look, cause okay. And yeah, so whatever sense. camera, if the camera's on that side, I'd have to look in that eye. If the camera's on that side, I'd have to look in that eye. But I can never look at both eyes. I have to look at one. That and way the, the yeah. camera can get your eyes okay. on the screen without actually getting them in the camera, which is freaking weird. Yeah, that, yeah it makes sense, it's though. so much. That's, that's yeah, and oh, I'm blinking. Can't blink too much. And what? And like what? In movies. Like, if, you like, like, if you're watching a movie, you realize they don't blink, like, at all. It's because you're not supposed to blink while acting. Not when a camera's rolling? Nope. It looks weird too. Like I noticed that, like if you blink, you can literally count how many times you blink. You know, <laughs> it yeah. messes up the whole thing. So I was acting, modeling, mm -hmm. and you really be out here working though, putting in work and like you just coming back from a gig now, ain't you? Yeah, uh, I was doing. A, it's called like a video portrait shoot. Uh huh. So um, a lot of me, a lot of movement instead of like you know regular photo shoots, you just kind of like stand still and like do different shots. Well, this I was literally having to move like the entire time and make it look natural and. Yeah. You be staying like booked, like what's the agency that you use? Or did you like, um, mess away or you? Uh, I'm actually signed to m and Talent Agency. Uh-huh. Um, my agent is Nicole Renee. Nicole Renee? Renee. Nicole. Renee. Renee. Yep. Nicole Renee. Yep. Okay, shout out Nicole Renee. <laughs> How long has she been your agent? You what? How long has she been your agent? Um, uh, she started her agency on August of 2021, so an entire year for being my agent. If it was anybody that I say that works as hard as me that I see out there in those streets, see she just... <laughs> <laughs> you and, uh, what's your friend name? Jay. Jay. Jay Denise. Jay Denise. Yep. We out there. Yeah, we out there working. Are you single? No, married. You married? How long have you been married? Six years. But Six I've been years. with him for almost 12. Oh, okay. 12. I'll be 12 years next month. Oh, shout <laughs> out. You don't sing or nothing else? Nah. You can't sing? Nah. Can't hear you hitting on tunes? My, my shower head enjoys my voice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music you listen to? Um, I'm really into like pop and punk rock music. Right. So like my favorite band is Five Seconds of Summer. Um, right. I actually have a tattoo from that band. Five seconds of summer? Yeah. Who's your favorite out of the group? Hmm. I don't know. Luke, which is the, like the lead singer. But 
Um, I like, I think I like Michael a little bit more just because of his energy. He's just like always bouncing around on stage and slamming his guitar. So like, you went to the Buzzard concerts? Yeah, yeah, I went to a uh, favorite band that I've liked since I was like five years old is the Backstreet Boys. Mm -hmm. And I went to the Backstreet Boys um, and Five Seconds Summer last month. The Backstreet Boys were at Ruhoff Home Mortgage Center and they sold out with 25,000 people. And then um, Five Seconds Summer went, I was at the TCU Amphitheater and they sold out whatever max capacity that could be. So have you met them? Um, I have met one member from the Backstreet Boys that was Nick Carter. Is that who you wanted to meet? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> I actually drove so long so uh, forever ago um my uh one of my best friends uh her name was Shavana she doesn't do any like entertainment stuff but right. uh me and her actually drove to Cleveland Ohio because we missed the Indianapolis concert for the Nick and Night because he was on like a duet tour with another band member from another band and um so we drove over to Cleveland just to go see them and uh when Nick came out of the building to his tour bus I got two autographs and a hug so that was cool Oh, okay. So you went like group in? No. No. And then. So um, if Luke would have said, "Come on, leave your husband, come with me." No. You're not going. No, I I don't I don't think a meeting, fully meeting, like your favorite celebrities is a good idea, because <laughs> the reason why is because I have met one of my favorite celebrities who is no longer really a favorite of mine due to his attitude. And it was just very awkward. What was wrong? What did he do? He's just. Um, he wanted to smash. No, no, he's just he didn't cocky, want to smash. cocky, he's cocky. He didn't want to smash? <laughs> no. He didn't want to smash? No, not like that. His personality, yeah, like, um, I seen Aaron Carter in concert a long time ago, and he uh, actually got upset with me because he saw my videos I recorded him at the concert, and he messaged me on Instagram. And I was like, oh, dope, he messaged me on Instagram. Yeah. And... So he wanted me to send the videos. Well, I was trying to do that and he gave me his email to do that with. Um, but I think due to me having an Android and him having an Apple email, it wasn't going through correctly. He got pissed off at me and unfollowed me on Instagram. I was like, wow. <laughs> Who? Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. <laughs> I was like, okay. Wow. So like stuff like that is just, but like, so he's not your, he's not so it's like you said, fuck him, huh? No, I was like, yeah, I, I still like his music, I just don't like him, right? So, and and like, it's not like he's not talented because he is, it's just he's he blew it, like, he, yeah. And then, I, so it's like, I feel like meeting your celebrities, you might find out that they're not who you expected them to be or what they portray themselves to be, you know, on TV. So, I feel like meeting them, actually meeting them and getting to know them, it's probably not a good idea because, like, what if I meet these guys? That's not the first time and, I heard that. Somebody saying that. That's not the first yeah, thing. but like, what if I, you know, for example, I love this band, and what if I meet this band and they're not who I thought they would be? Then I have a freaking tattoo of this <laughs> band on my arm, and I have all their albums, and it's like, I would like die. <laughs> <laughs> so I think meeting them and like getting an autograph, that's fine, but actually meeting them and getting to know them, not a good idea. Wait, how many tattoos you got? Uh, just the one. Yeah. Tell yeah. me some more acting stuff. What else is on that? Um, there's just a lot. Um, memorizing lines, that's a good one. That one's hard. But honestly, it, like if you're if you have terrible memory, probably not a good idea to start acting. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, just because like you don't want to have to sit there and rewrite, you know, try to do the lines over and over and over again. Um, definitely, if you want to start acting, is learn is it's definitely good to start practicing monologues. That was where we started. Um, so I went to John Casablanca's School of Modeling and Talent, mm -hmm. which they teach you about. Uh, you know where? John Casablanca's. Mm -hmm. It's a school for modeling and acting. And where, that, where is that at? Where is it? It's actually in Indianapolis on uh, 86th Street. Oh, okay. And then, is it expensive? Yeah, a little bit. Well, okay, so I don't really think it's that expensive due to, if you go to school to be a doctor, that's you're paying $50,000 in school, right? Well, if more you go, or more, more than that. Yeah. And then, you know, just to go to cosmetology school, it's another $20,000. And um, for you to go to modeling school and acting school, it was only like three thousand dollars, which yeah, I don't man. see. I don't that's find not, that expensive. Yeah, that's not expensive. Some people are like, "What to learn modeling? I don't need to go to school to, 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 to um yeah. down to put your child to that. That's not that's not much. Mm -mm. Three thousand dollars. That's not much. No, it's really not. 
And saying, yes, I, I don't know something that close that we can get your child and act and fit in. Yeah. So shout them out again. What is it? John Casablancas. Okay. And he said they tuition like three thousand dollars. Yep. And then um yeah, I, I paid like a month like a mine was a weekly fee of like seventy bucks a week or something like that I would do. All right. And oh, just, so this is all ages can go there? Yeah, anyone. Anyone can sign up. I can go there too? Yeah. All you gotta do is go to like uh go to um uh, Model and Talent Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Um and it, they should pop up and you know, say like JC Model and Talent. And you just go to their submit an application. Um, you do gotta go in there and get like a review to see like, they'll see like where you're at. Like if you need a ton of um, learning or if you need like, if you fail, then you can come back next time. Mm -hmm. um, so they have like grades and I was able to get in because I passed with like a B on like, and I've never done modeling or acting in my life when I went to school there. Right. Like I've done some acting. I did do like some theater work back in school, like when I was in middle school and high school, but mm -hmm. that was about it. So I didn't have any modeling experience whatsoever. So that was different. So it was a lot to learn, but you learn more than just that. Like you get, um, you learn how to do fit, you know, like your fitness, what to like focus on, learn mm -hmm. um, your skincare, how to properly apply your skincare, um, what skincare is good for you, what's not good for you, uh, which, you know, how to properly apply your makeup. That's dope. Um, so does your husband support your dreams? Yes. He brags at work about how his wife's a model. <laughs> 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 I guess the one thing that most people don't know about me until I say it is I used to be a dog trainer. You used to be a dog trainer? I can see you being a dog trainer. Big elephant vision.